Happy Saturday. Communicating. Oh my God. Communicating with one another. It can be pretty scary sometimes. I mean, even just within friendships, business, you know, and then, you know, intimacy issues and intimate relationships doubly as difficult or challenging. I, and I, is, it, is it about feeling comfortable or vulnerable enough to honestly share what's going on? Because sometimes when you just, you know, you, you, you're marching around and um, you're pissed off and you're angry and you're bound up. People, you, everybody notices, but you don't want to say anything and nothing's wrong and obviously something's wrong. Why not at that time do we not share? Is it because we're afraid we're going to break down, we're going to cry, or we're going to get into a confrontation, or we don't want to get into a confrontation, or we're afraid of confrontation? All these things. But to, to hold on to whatever we're holding on to, or to project what we're feeling onto somebody else that has nothing to do with the situation, yeah. challenging, but a bit childish. If I, if I explode on everybody else, except the person that I want to explode on, I feel like it's inappropriate. And I've done it, and I do it, and I try not to do it. But those are the issues. Like, it, like instead of us holding on to everything that we are angry about or upset about, this free flow of communication, it's super important. And what does that have to do with? I'm afraid, right? I'm afraid if I share the information that's going on in my head, you're going to judge me or you're going to yell at me or I'm going to yell at you or it's going to be challenging and difficult and embarrassing maybe. But wouldn't we, once those fears are confronted, the energy is exchanged Well, you know, each party will know where they stand. Some people will not react anyway. You yell at them and they won't react, and that's unfortunate. Or you communicate with them and they don't react because they won't communicate back. And I, you know, I... And sometimes I don't know what's going on in my mind. Sometimes I don't know how I feel. And that's all right. We don't always have to know how we feel, but I think it's important for us to communicate that something's going on in us that's uncomfortable, especially when we're working with other people or um, in any fashion, right? Relationship, business, intimacy, intimate business relationship, intimate you know, partnership or uh, physical relationship, whoever, whatever. I don't know. Communication. It's so important. And I hate tiptoeing around people. Oh my God. And, I'm, and I know people don't like tiptoeing around me. And usually when I'm tr trying to make people tiptoe around me, it's because I want to get into an argument and I don't want to start it. Childish. Or I want to say something, but I just don't want to explode, or I want to explode, or... Yeah, I've been that childish. And I will probably be at some point in the future, but hopefully not. Much love. I am not perfect by any means. Peace.